Snowflower and the Secret Fan, the film, is about female friendship, about these binds that hold us together uh, as women. It's about the things that we go through together and how we stand by each other, but also sometimes how we fail each other, how we atone, how we make up. Um, and it's all included with the secret language of women, which you can sort of take as the actual literal secret language of Nushu, but also that secret language that women have as friends. When you're an author and you give your book to someone else and you give your book to a director, you're saying, you're, I'm an artist, you're an artist too and that you have to kind of step back and let his vision and his idea of what that, the world he wants to tell. So I think he, you know, is very, the part uh, that takes place in the past is so true to the book. Uh, I think any reader of the book will love that aspect, that it's just so, so true to the book. And then there's this kind of enveloping modern story. And I think what's kind of fun about that is that, you know, it is very much Wayne's vision, and it is very much a sort of a different kind of artistic statement, and that I really admire that, that he was able to do that and not stick necessarily so literally to the novel, um, to kind of open it up and, and add his ideas to it. I grew up in a family of writers. My mother's a writer, my mother's father was a writer, and I think it was kind of natural for me to become a writer. I always say it was a good thing they weren't plumbers. And, uh, you know, growing up with my mother especially, I really looked at the world in a very particular way so that I, I really, I think, was more of an observer. My father's side of the family is Chinese, so I'm Chinese-American. And my grandparents and great-grandparents uh, used to tell these wonderful stories about my great-grandfather and how he came here. And this is how I really started writing about um, China and the Chinese-American experience. <laughs> ¶¶